Number 29, letter A. Calculate the retarding force due to the viscosity of the air layer between a cart and a level air track given the following information. Air temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. The cart is moving at 0.4 meters per second. Its surface area is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 meters squared. And the thickness of the air layer is 6 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. All right. Um, so here's all that information, right? The thickness between the bottom surface area of the cart here and this track or whatever is going to be 6 times 10 to the minus 5. Surface area of the cart is going to be that. Here's the velocity. We also need to know the viscosity of air at 20 degrees Celsius, and this is the value at the bottom. Now what we can do is we can use a formula. All right, in order, well, obviously we're going to use a formula to figure this out. All right, and I'm going to use this formula. This makes it nice and easy. All right, so we can use this formula that the retarding force is going to be equal to the viscosity of the fluid multiplied by the area, surface area of contact, multiplied by the velocity of the moving surface, divided then by the thickness of that layer. So this formula does a very nice job of being, you know, giving us the uh, firepower needed to solve this. So really all we need to do here is just plug in the values, right? So the viscosity here is going to be 0 0.181 times 10 to the minus 3. The surface area was 2.50 times 10 to the minus 2. The velocity was 0.4 meters per second. That's all then divided by the thickness of 6.00 times 10 to the minus 5. And here we go. We can find that now, that retarding force or that force that opposes the motion. So just give me, whoop, I forgot to take out my calculator. Apologies. So here we have uh, 0 0.0181 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 times 0.4 divided then by 6 times 10 to the minus 5. So we get a value of about uh, 3.02, right? 3.02 times 10 to the minus, looks like 3. And that's going to be in terms of Newtons, all right? So that is the force that will be opposing this particular motion, all right? All right, and then letter B, it says, what is the ratio of this force to the weight of the 0.3 kilogram cart? So this is easy, right? What's the ratio? So all we got to do is take this 3.02 times 10 to the minus three force compared to then uh, the weight of the cart. The mass of the cart is 0.3. Multiply that by gravity. That would be the weight of the cart. And now all we need to do is just take this ratio. So 0.3 times 9.8, divide that answer by that. And here we get a, a fractional value of 0 0.00103. All right, if you want to convert that into a percent, right, that would be uh, essentially 0.103%. Cool, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Hope you remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.